Okay, and so look at what just happened here. So I was just digging and got a bit too close and dug a couple of the sweet potatoes. But remember, like I said, uh, what will happen, these right here will go straight to the kitchen um, and we will go ahead and cook them up. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what's left inside of that hole there. Just gonna try and pull this dirt away. And see what's left inside. Okay. All right. So we have a nice big one came out of there. And I tell you what, pass me those right there, back son, because I want to go ahead for the ones we pull out of the holes. We want to see what we're getting out of them so far. All right. So we're gonna come on over here, man. Come here, pull out some of these sweet potatoes, boy. Over there sitting down. No, hold on, hold on. Come um over on that side. Right there. All right, hold on. Let me dig them real quick. All right, go ahead, move the dirt out the way, pull out the sweet potatoes and put them right here in the same spot so we can see. Let's put them a bit to the side. Oh, that's the same hole, right? Or the next this hole? A hole? Oh, a different hole, okay. And so what I'll do as I dig, go ahead and it's another by your hand. And another by your hand. It's dark, you can't see it. Reach for the hole. Yep. Good job. Oh, see look, it's eaten. Huh? Is it is that eating or the one you no, it's not eating. jabbed? I think this was the one that came off of that one. Okay. All right, let me move this dirt for you. And so if that's the case, that was in the same hole. Then that's what I was saying because if you just dug that piece out of the one you jabbed, kind of did what? So that means all, all of those, those came, came out of the hole. same hole. Okay, I understand. I see what you're saying. All right. So this right here is a different hole. You go ahead, pull those, and put right there. And just move the dirt and check to see if there was any, if there's any left on it there. I think that's good. Watch your hand. But MJ, you have to move them. You can't put them in the same. Yeah, you got to put them in separate piles, okay? No, no, no. Look, turn around. You see the gap, the space in between you? So look, do me a favor. Move that pile right here. Move this pile. Yep, move it. Uh, uh move it closer this way, some. Yep, move, move it a little bit more closer. Yep, right there. And then the next pile, move it down some. 
the next yep. pile you dug up in front of your foot, move it down some this way. A little bit further down, so that way you'll have enough space for the next pile. Okay, so we have one exposed out of the dirt right here, guys. I think that one might be a big one. I don't know yet. Until we get in there. MJ, look look behind you. You see the formation that you got going on behind you with those piles? Mm -hmm. So move that pile down because we're trying to keep track of what came out of where. Okay, so so move those a little bit further down. A little bit, Michael, a little bit further this way. So then that way, now the next pile that he digs out will have some space. Yes. So I just spoke another one, guys. And like I said, that will go straight to the kitchen. All right, you ready to harvest them, son? Yes, sir. All right, go ahead. Two big ones. Another hole right here. Don't cover up your potatoes, MJ. There's one other hole right here. Go ahead and start looking that up. You see the thing with these sweet potatoes here guys that you also want to keep in mind um, if you notice how they grow uh, you can see these vines um, so most of the time these vines that you see send out would be a sweet potato all the way out here but I, I guess it didn't have enough energy to put on one all the way out here so sometime when you're digging all your sweet potatoes may not be right where you plant your slip it could be probably about a foot uh, away from where you plant your slip so you want to keep that in mind and that is how I also dug a couple of those sweet potatoes as well all right all right that is how my fork uh, damaged some of those sweet potatoes well you've uh, you're up to four damaged ones huh? put those right where your foot are Michael The potato you just pulled behind you, put it back. Okay. Uh, these ones didn't uh, put out as much, but hey. Those um, are fry, fry worthy. Fry those up. Yeah. And I would say that is probably uh, one of the hole that didn't really do um, as well. But for the most part, all of the slips that we Michael planted, piled those small ones up. All the slips that were planted, we got potatoes out of them. All right. Ready to see what we got out of this one. With last but not least, right? Last but not least. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and look at that <laughs> that's the last hole there um still a good still a good um it yielded harvest, something you know because guess what remember all i did was put a slip in there was nothing on the end of that slip but we were harvesting today and we were finding uh potatoes guys but that is it right there for um the rest of that row right there okay um so far uh wonderful wonderful harvest here uh we got today very good harvest and like i said i am thankful i'm very much so thankful um 
So uh, what we're going to do right now, real quick, we're going to talk about what we're going to do as far as putting them up for storage, okay? Because remember, these sweet potatoes, they have to be cured, all right? Now, this one have to be cured? Well, you want to cure them. Now, you know these sweet potatoes, we take them straight from the ground to the kitchen. Um, not So these is not necessarily got to be cured like your boda guards. And so these right here, you could cook them right away. But mm -hmm. we'll still go ahead and put them up inside of the shed where it's a bit warm uh, so that sugar content can build up inside of them even more. All right, so stay tuned. Let me go ahead, grab my wheelbarrow, load up all these potatoes here, guys, and we will be right back. Okay, and so that right there is it. Look tired, baby. Well, you know, <laughs> hey, you know, anytime you come out here and break a sweat, mm -hmm. it's always a good thing. You know, it's always a good thing. Uh, great harvest out of just those two rows that we planted. Okay, mm -hmm. now, so what we're going to do on the inside, we're going to go ahead and put these here to cure for about two weeks or so. Um, most of them will be eaten down way before then. No. Ones, come on now. <laughs> the ones them that we harvested uh, a couple of weeks ago, guys. Mm, well. Some of them we did sell. Yes. And so some we did eight. Now these right here is not for sale, okay? These will be put down in storage uh, this will be for the family over the winter time because remember like I said food preservation Okay, that is very important. I know During this video here we touched on quite a bit, but guys food preservation Did you hear that? food preservation make sure you are Putting some of what you are planting away for yourself. Okay, um, of course, you know some of them you have to uh, take out there and bring to the market just so that way it can benefit back here on the homestead. But hey, I need the rest of this year to benefit the family. All right, so um, just to talk a little bit about uh, as far as storage, um, if you could even make yourself a rack or get yourself a table and put uh, some utility, utility wire on that table and kind of elevate it a little bit uh, just so that way you can have some airflow to come underneath the bottom. Okay, now I just thought about it. Um, guys, I did a video last year showing you guys how we go about storing the sweet potatoes. If you want to see that, go back and reference to that video. Okay, it's something that I've already touched on. So go ahead and check that video on out. Um, um, as far as the rodents with the Korean sweet potatoes, it was maybe just a few that was eaten on these particular ones. Um, so that move from up top, from behind the woods down here, would you say it's a good move? Mm, our border guards did get eaten. Uh, not a whole lot like last year that happened up there. So I think I would say it was a good move. Simple reason why they didn't damage as much as these as they did last year. But remember, we did not plant any border guards last year. We only planted the Korean. And so the border guards did got damaged a bit uh, from those uh, voles or rodents, whatever it may be. Uh, we'll probably say vole. Um, 
you know, the root crop, they ate them. Okay. And so, um, real quick, we're going to go over here, check out all those slips that we gave to the goat and see what the damage is like. And then we're going to go ahead and shut it down. Let's go guys. Okay, and if y'all remember, we did came on in and we dumped some slips right here in this spot. Now, what do you see? <laughs> it is gone. Those goats, they put a dent in it. They absolutely love sweet potato slips, guys. Um, as y'all hear them, I don't know if y'all hear them, was hollering, you know, what they're doing. They were fighting over the alfalfa hay. And so... Hey, we'll let them go ahead and have it. But none of the less, guys, that right there is it for harvesting all of our sweet potatoes. And stay tuned for next year uh, because I believe I am going to go ahead and plant our sweet potatoes a bit different. Okay, we're going to try something a bit different here on the homestead. So stay tuned for that. Um, you know. Not going to give it away just as yet. Stay tuned. All right, guys. And so I just want to say thanks to each and every one of you all out there. You know, it is always a pleasure to have you all coming along with us, harvesting, sharing a bit of tips with you all out there. It is a pleasure. And I just want to say thanks to each and every one of you all out there for stopping by the Humble Servant Homestead. And as always, peace and blessings to each and every one of you all out there. Now, one thing now uh you know subscription thumbs up and uh what's the other one sharing these videos okay now you know we ask for those things here not because um you know we think we are all that no absolutely not that is not the case it's just more so that you can help uh this stuff getting out there to people so they can learn a bit more and also um you know to, to help the homestead to help us here on the homestead so if you like the content that you all got here today uh mj hey come here real quick i want you to tell the people something well tell uh our extended family something come on come on over here what you want to tell them man like Subscribe and make sure you share this video. And do what? Comment. Put a thumbs up. Throw that thumbs up, guys. So <laughs> I just want to say have a blessed day.